everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Gods of Dark Souls. So if you guys didn't already know, last war didn't count. Even though we did win, they're going to deduct those points and whatever, but our I guess our standing does, uh, because they've messed up. Okay, uh, but anyway, let's see. Who have they banned? Ooh, so they banned I Doom. Oh, boy. Got a bad idea, bad feeling about this. Um, all right, let's see who they have planned for us. Okay, that WAGS um, banning is going to hurt. Okay, so I already see Gallon. Gallon going to eat that uh, Nimrod up. Um, future Ant-Man, so I'm going to be bringing in uh, Magneto. And, oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Um, shocker, shocker, shocker. Does Spider-Man Supreme get armor-ups? I don't know. And does Shocker... I need to look that up, because... I'd bring um, Nebula, but if neither one of them get armor ups, I don't need to worry about a bleed immune on this node, and I will bring um, Hulkling instead. And Hulkling might be able to take that I Doom as well. See, oh, they didn't put anybody on that node. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. Um. So Magneto. Gallon. And a third one, I am thinking Hulkling, but I may have to bring someone else that's bleed immune, like uh, Warlock. So if it's not Hulkling, I might do Warlock instead. Man, that could be a pain. All right. Anyway, let's get to it. All right. So I'm going in with this team, Gallon, Magneto, and Warlock. And I was actually asked to uh, do a fight in the middle against uh baron zemo and i've never done that fight so that's going to be interesting um no one on that first node and then we've got this uh gallon food uh right here that's what i see gallon food yummy uh so i'll boost up as uh usual but the fight that i'm more concerned with is that baron zemo fight and um, we'll see. We'll see how that fight goes. So this one, I don't even have to do medium light mediums. I just fight, do regular combos as soon as I can get to a, a special. Now, at this point, I should have just been able to do a heavy and end the fight. But he don't want to go down that easy. He wants to fire his specials every chance he gets because he knows that I'm about to do this. And then that. And he knows the fight's going to be over. So I understand. I understand. He was scared. So he was just like, y'all, man, I got to get this guy off of me. It didn't work. But eh, good effort. Good hustle. Good hustle. I love Gallon. Beast mode. 26 seconds. And he was done. All right. I don't think I took this fight. Um, I think I let them know, yeah. Um, used up my energy and everything, and then uh, came back, I think, the next day. Uh, no, no, not the next day. It was later on, I think. No, it might have been the next day. Um, the time zone issue, um, I think, is going to be resolved uh, next war. So anyway, we got this guy here. Hazard, shift, incinerate, 
shock. And what I was told is that this one is good for Magneto. Magneto, once he's magnetized, pretty much shuts all that down and you don't have to worry about it. And uh, Magneto also has a good uh, energy resistance, if I remember correctly. So this should be fairly uh, straightforward. Don't have to dance around um, the different modes and everything like that. But still, it is Baron Zemo. And Baron Zemo, you see, I did a nice invulnerability boost because um, I wasn't sure about this fight. Okay, so first things first. All right, he's magnetized. So now what I was trying to do is uh, parry heavy. Okay, he kept doing that, which was annoying. See? So I was like, okay, well, I can, I can still hit you. See? I can still hit you. So I'm like, all right. We should be okay, but I want to bait out his special one. Um, if I can. All right, there we go. And then push him back a little bit. But I should have pushed him back more. Look at that damage. Did you see that damage? He didn't hit me. See, you see now I'm moving? I was like, whoa, whoa, that was a lot of damage. So now I'm like, am I even going to be able to get to my special two? My special three? Um, I've got a disorient on me and something that I've learned uh, this particular node I'm probably not the best person to be taking this node all right so now I just want to parry him again all right and we just need a, a special three that's all we need I'm trying to get the prowess up and then bam just wanted to parry but it didn't work so I was like, all right, I got thrown off a lot by all that damage I took into my block. I was like, whoa, um, that kind of forced me to change up my style a little bit. Uh, but that that fight was definitely winnable. Um, if I have to do it again, I'll know what I need to do. Uh, but one thing that I learned about that node, the more debuffs you have on you, um, I think it lowers your ability accuracy or something like that. And that's a problem when you're running the Ouchie Masteries. And I've already turned mine off for placing my defense. And so I'm not looking to spend even more units. It, it takes me about 90-something units every single time. I'm not looking for even more units spent. You know, I'm free to play. I have to be very careful with my units. Um, so I probably wasn't the best for this, but look at this. See, I got the shock on me. It's not doing a whole lot of damage. Now look at how I'm fighting this time. Okay. So look at the difference. Okay. This time I'm just going in a little bit. I'm not getting trapped in that corner. Um, doing parry heavies. Look at my health. A lot better. So I know how to fight him now on this node. Okay. You see, I'm not taking none of them blocked hits. Because, boy, did that hit hurt. Okay, see, I'm pushing him back. I don't want to get trapped in that corner again. Okay, just kind of got the timing wrong on that one. Now, he hit me into my block that time, which was not good. All right. Look at that. Just hurting into my block, you know. Just nasty. This time, I said, no, no. We're not waiting for a special three this time. we just fighting them regular. Come on. Let's just go. Look at this. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Come on. Come on. He cleansed it. Yeah. There we go. I wasn't even trying to do the parry heavy no more. I said, nope, you're not getting me down again. So I need to just fight him like that. And I would actually do a lot better. But that damage into my block. Oh painful all right so they cleared the middle and i was able to get him down one one death which already you know put me out of sorts and now of course one of the reasons i don't like using one champion for many many different fights unless they have a way to heal up like black widow clairvoyant 
is this. It can get really expensive if you have a bad fight. So when I was planning my fights, I was spreading it out so that I had somebody for different fights. But I knew I was going to need Magneto for this. I wasn't expecting to die, have to revive, then get hurt, and then have to heal up and all of that. But it is what it is. It's it's part of Alliance War. That's That's just what happens. All right, so... We know how to fight Ant-Man here, okay? He's magnetized, so we're good. So I know I'm not going to be losing um, a lot of health, but I always heal up anyway, just in case. You never know. You don't know what's going to happen. Okay? I love the fact that I can just block and not take hardly any damage at all. You know, look at my health. His, his damage, now see, I would not do that with uh, Baron Zemo after that fight. You know, against this guy, I can block everything. Against Baron Zemo, uh-uh. I don't want to block nothing from Baron Zemo. He hurts. Okay, so we, we got one more. Bam. And that's it. That's how I thought the Baron Zemo fight was going to go. The first time, anyway. But it didn't go that way. And I can fight him now. Still don't like him, though. But I can fight him now. Just got to fight him uh, kind of stun immune. And like I said, on that particular node, um, having those debuffs on me made it a lot harder. So now we got Shocker. And I've fought Shocker before. I'm uh, comfortable with fighting him. He's not that bad to fight. Uh, on this particular node, I was pretty sure he didn't get armor ups. So I was like, all right, uh, I should be safe. But just in case, we bring in Warlock. And I was like, whoa, how did he hit me just now? I'm like, okay, that's how you want to play. So we're just going in. See how I waited on that one? I said, yeah, we, we got your number. We know how you're playing it. Yep, mm-hmm. We'll wait. All right, let's try and bait this out. Bam. Well, oh, got another one. Bait it out. Bam. Okay. Let's go back in. I love that power burn. It helps manage the power. Oh, and that got me. I forgot about his auto block. I said, ah. I said, all right, all right, we got something for you. Now that I remember, as I was reminded forcefully, whew, unblockable, don't matter. I'm not gonna fire no specials. Certainly not a special one, because I just put the shock on him. You see, I'm on him, I'm on him. Come on, get that special one out of here. Yep, don't even let him finish that, come on. Nope. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Get it out. Nope. And now, special three. Can't auto block that. Told you I had something for him. Yeah, get over here. Patooey! I love that special three. Yeah, where's your power now? Oh, just hit all in my block. And then, after all of that, he was able to parry me. Did y'all see that? The AI is reacting way too fast. Way too fast. I waited for him to hit all into my block. I attacked as fast as I could, and he parried. Yeah. But there's no difference. No change. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got you. All right. Anyway, I waited until my uh, energy came back. And I know how to fight. Spider-Man Supreme. Um, I had to fight him in Battlegrounds, too. And when you know how to fight him, it makes things a little bit easier. Now, you could do a couple of things. You know he's going to get that blessing of whatever and go, you know, invisible or whatever. So, you can either bait that out, you know, trigger it on purpose, wait until it's on cooldown, and then fight him like normal. Or 
Just don't hit him with medium attacks. Now, he doesn't get uh, armor ups. I was pretty sure. And so I'm like, all right, we should be good. Now, remember, with him, I have to do medium light mediums, right? So see what I did there? I did a medium. And then now it's on cooldown. Now I can do my regular medium light medium attack. Okay. Medium light medium. There you go. But you have to watch for that to come off cooldown. And his specials hurt even when you block them. Especially the, the special two. I've learned how to evade it. But I need some more practice. All right. And I want to watch watch this, guys. Yeah. Didn't help him. He went invisible. All that doesn't matter with Gallon. I love that. It don't matter. You can try to block it. You can try to do everything you want. You can't avoid it. Nice. All right. So anyway, that is all of my fights for this particular war. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Um, I think. Yeah. We had a, a Doom boss there. We'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. As you can see, we lost this war and we lost it pretty badly. Um, they, they really rocked us. Look at that. That was bad. I'm not quite sure how many of our, um, deaths didn't count, but that's a lot of deaths. That's way too many. And I don't remember what happened. I think someone, uh, there might've been some miscommunication somewhere. I, I'm really not sure what happened. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.